and uh, you know, please follow uh, according to that. Thank you very much. Would you all stand now then for the reading of the Word of God? 우리 다 함께 기립하셔서 이 시간에는 우리 성경 오늘 말씀 함께 보시기로 하겠습니다. 오늘 말씀은 요한복음 11장 25절과 26절의 말씀입니다. Uh, today's word comes from the book of John, chapter 11, uh, verses 25 and 26. And this is the word of God. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? 예수께서 이르시되 나는 부활이요 생명이니 나를 믿는 자는 죽어도 살겠고 무릇 살아서 나를 믿는 자는 영원히 죽지 아니하리니 이것을 내가 믿느냐? 아멘. 하나님의 말씀입니다. This is the word of God. Please be seated. Now, when I was little, when I was little, I thought Christmas was the best uh, Christian, you know, holiday ever. But then when I grew up and got to know Jesus Christ personally, I realized Christmas is great, but Easter is greater. The resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ is greater. Jesus came, was born to this uh, earth, in order to accomplish resurrection, ultimately. Uh, not for himself, but for us. So as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, I would like for us to recognize how important his resurrection is to all of us. Because we live our daily lives missing that importance, knowing how important that is. So uh, I would like for us to recognize how important his resurrection is. Now, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is important to us, number one, because death becomes uh, no longer our problem. Don't you agree? Death, uh, of all the problems that we face, you see, in our lives, death is the most serious problem. We could try to avoid this and that. Maybe we could avoid uh, this problem, that problem. But the problem of death is something that we cannot avoid. Everybody goes through it, young and old. And the problem uh, gets further accentuated because we don't know when that death will occur. So when Jesus said he will come back like a thief in the night, that nobody knows when he will come. I believe, yes, he was talking about his second coming, but I also believe that he was talking about the time when each and every one of us personally, the time when we have to leave this earth, the time when we all have to physically die. Nobody knows. That day will come upon us like a thief in the night. And it's a problem. It's a problem for all of us. Oftentimes, we miss that truth about uh, this fact of life uh, because we ignore it. We forget about it because it's just too painful and too scary to think about it. But if we're going to prepare for all kinds of problems in our lives, difficulties that will come upon us in our lives, one problem, one difficulty that we should be ready for is death. Are you prepared for death? You know, that's the question that everybody is actually asking, uh, asking themselves, am I prepared for death? I say you are prepared if you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. But if you are not, if you are not, uh, you know, believing in Jesus Christ, if you are not receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you do not know how good it is to experience that salvation, then you are not ready. You are not prepared for death. Death is scary. Death, uh, you know, makes us tremble. 
You know, we tend to, you know, mask that truth and make it sound like the death is, you know, a, a, a passage to making life go round and round and round and round. You know, circle of life. As, you know, we have seen in numerous movies and animations and so on. Lion King, you know, circle of life. Death is part of circle of life. How great that is. It's not great. Death is not great. Death is painful. Even Jesus, when his, when his good friend Lazarus died, Jesus wept. He had the power. Yes, he did raise his friend you know, back from death. But just the mere fact of his friend dying, when death came upon his friend, Jesus wept. Because there's nothing, nothing good about death. And you and I, we all face that problem. But if we believe in Jesus Christ, if Jesus Christ really did resurrect, then death is no longer our problem. We should not be afraid of death. If anyone comes up to us and threatens us with our life, especially threatening us not to believe in Jesus, threatening us not to follow Jesus, threatening us to abandon the truth of our God, we are not afraid. Because our Lord Jesus Christ resurrected, lived, and in union with him. Because we are united to Jesus Christ, that's what the scripture says. We also will live we may die that physical death, but we will not remain in that grave. We will be resurrected just like our Lord Jesus Christ, and we will have life. You know, our new, our, our new life, our eternal life already began on the day we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And it will continue forever. That's what the scripture says. Our God never lies Every single promise that he made, you know, uh, from the Old Testament uh, to New Testament, he made sure that they came true. And this whole thing about resurrection and eternal life, new life, this too uh, will come true, will come to completion, you see, when Jesus comes back. So death is no longer our problem. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, uh, it says, I tell you this, brothers, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be all changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will, raise, dead will be raised imperishable. And we shall be changed. For this perishable body must put on the imperishable. And this mortal body must put on immortality. When the perishable puts on the imperishable. And the mortal puts on immortality. Then shall come to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. O death where is your victory? O death where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. You as believers in Jesus Christ who receive the special saving grace of his, you no longer need to fear death. You no longer need to be angry over it. You no longer have to be forever you know, saddened by death. Death was put to death once and for all through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then there's something else. Not only uh, do we not have to be afraid of death, death is no longer our problem. There's something called newness. Something new that takes place in all of our lives in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Death, you see, represents everything getting old. 
everything tearing apart, everything going from order to disorder. And that's the nature of this world. Natural science actually even proves it, makes it into a theory. Second law of thermodynamics, you see, tells us everything goes from order to disorder. Everything breaks apart. And we hate things breaking apart. We hate new things becoming old, right? Babies, when they're born into this world, so new, so cute, so full of energy, so full of life, you see? But as time, time goes, baby grows older, uh, older, older, teens, 20s, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Bible says if you live up to 80s, you've lived a long, good life. Nowadays, people go up to 90s, hundreds. It's happening longer and longer. But still, living long is not always a blessing. That's not the way we, we see it. You know why? Because we see ourselves uh, getting older and older, breaking apart, tearing apart, getting weaker. I feel that too now that I'm now, in a few more years, I'm looking to 60. It's crazy. You know, I always thought myself to be in my 20s. Not anymore. Not anymore. You know, my hair's, you know, all falling out. The muscles, you know, going away. Um, my joints are starting to hurt. This morning, just walking from my office to this building right here, just walking, I tweaked my knee. It's crazy. I hate breaking apart. But that's the nature of this world, our, our old self, isn't it? But the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ promises us newness, newness of life. No more old, everything new again. We don't have to go back to you know, us being babies as adults. I don't know in what form we will be resurrected to, what age we're going to be resurrected to. I'm not really sure. But when we are resurrected, we will be resurrected to the best of ourselves. Don't you agree? We will not hurt. We will not tear up. We will not break apart. We will be stronger than ever. We will be perfectly the way our Lord Jesus Christ designed and intended for all of us to be. That's what the resurrection of our Lord Jesus promises us. This is the reason why the resurrection is so important. There's thirst for newness in all of us. You see? It's us getting another chance. In life, we don't get many chances. If you mess up, that's it. People don't give you another chance. If you mess up, that could be the end. End of your career, end of everything, your relationship. You mess up once, your marriage could be over in this world. No second chance. But our God is saying, I'm going to give you another chance. And this chance will make you perfect. This chance uh, will make you the kind of person that you've always dreamt uh, of be becoming. The newness. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So resurrection, resurrection of Jesus is your blessing. And in order, in order for you to enjoy that blessing, you better be sure of this resurrection of Jesus. You better know this resurrection of Jesus. Me as a preacher, as a servant of God, all I do is to point you to the way, point you to uh, the resurrection but our Lord Jesus Christ is the resurrection. He doesn't point you to something else. He points 
you to himself and says, come in me, remain in me. And in me, you too will enjoy resurrection. Even now, starting now, if you understand and hold on to that hope, boy, imagine the kind of things you could do. Imagine all the fears that you could drive away. All the dissatisfaction about yourself, you'll say, oh, I don't care what other people say or think of me. You know, if they think less of me, I don't care because our God, my God, you know, my God who is the author of life, uh, who is the master, you know, even over death, he loves me, you see. Why am I so afraid? You know, why am I so, why am I feeling so ashamed? Why am I still broken if I knew the resurrection of Jesus, uh, I would be the best that I could be. And you start living that eternal life uh, now. So you must believe. You must understand. You must embrace and keep in your hearts uh, this, this treasure, this blessing uh, of resurrection. Keep Jesus closely uh, in your hearts. 오늘 부활주의를 기념하면서 